Morning, I've had air cut, light is. Bit of a weird one this morning, we've got a TB test, bovine tuberculosis. I'm in Kent, which is in right in the southeast corner of England, and we only have to test every four years. The next county along, East Sussex, I think they're on one yearly testing, and we're TB4. If you're TB1, every year your vet comes out, the government pay, you and I, the taxpayer, pay to have our cattle check for bovine tuberculosis. We have never ever as a country got on top of the tuberculosis problem. I think a lot of it is to do with badgers, but you're not allowed to say anything bad about badgers in the UK, okay? Nothing. In fact, I actually love badgers. They're my favorite. My favorite part of a badger is when a pregnant sheep is stuck on her back. The badgers come along and eat her udder for the milk while she's alive, and then I find her in the morning and have to put her out of misery. They're just the best. This morning, my vet's coming out. She's got to inject them with tuberculosis. I think it's actual tuberculosis she injects them with, but they've done all sciencey stuff to it so that it doesn't infect them. And then they have to come back in three days, measure if they've had a reaction to it. It's to do with the size of a lump on their neck. If they have, the animal's got to be killed. And obviously if it's caught it from my local badger population, which we love, then they just carry on living on the farm absolutely rent-free, spreading tuberculosis to the rest of my animals. Like I said, I don't really know a lot about it. I know a lot of people that have had it really, really bad and it's absolutely devastating if you have it. Don't quote me on facts here, but if I was to test positive, I think I have to be on lockdown for 60 days so none of these animals can leave my farm for 60 days. I can't sell anything. And I have to have a test again, and then if they're free, I can sell them or something. I, I don't know. It's just... I don't really want to think about it we're gonna pass it's gonna be sweet sorry if the wind's really bad i don't know what's going on the weather is absolutely freezing the wind's been up for days it's just been rubbish i gotta go and get all the cattle hurdles together and make a good pen because they gotta go through the crush let's do it how'd you scratch your motor chris i have no idea what i'm saying. Cattle hurdles are such a faff to move about. I'm only going up the yard there, but Zoe's been driving, so we're gonna have to do our best not to scratch any cars. This is where we are TB testing, the uh, TB testing arena. State-of-the-art cattle crush. Single farm payment paid for that. One problem is a couple of those cattle, that fence is a mere inconvenience to them. So, oh gosh, look. <laughs> Sticking it was going through my crush. I hope the vet's had a tetanus. She'll probably need to go in that side. So I'll have to do a bit of gardening. So what I need to do is just bring a couple of cattle hurdles in here. A couple there and then we need to block that off. Right, the pen is built. Sort of. I'm just going to feed the goats out the other end. So that I can shut them out there because otherwise they're going to be a big issue. Yes, we do still have a sheep that thinks it's a goat. Yeah. Oh, there we go, lovely. Sorted. Are we gonna run the cows straight down? Boom, just gonna open them cattle hurdles. They're gonna go into my barn, out the other end of my barn, and into the lovely pen we just set up for them. And it's all gonna go absolutely spiffingly. So I'm not quite sure how much of this I'm gonna be able to film today, because obviously, I don't know how to hold the vet up. She's on your time. Apart from when, I think she's gonna PD my cattle after, and don't worry, I'm paying for that, guys. I'm gonna film what I can also. I don't know if she wants to be on the camera, though. Do you know what I mean? I don't even know if she knows I've got a YouTube channel. Obviously, she doesn't know what she's missing out on, if she doesn't. Some people don't want to be filmed today. I'll just film what I can. Come on in. Come on. Good girl, come on. Oh, not you two doing that again. Oh. Can we just behave for one day? We have the carrot approach with our cows, but I have no carrots. Right, guys, stay calm. Just gonna measure the skin thickness. Well, you measure the skin thickness first. First, yeah. It's an eight and ten. You got some thick skin, babe. Yeah, she does. She does. Yeah. <laughs> and what's that one? So that's the avian. It's avian tuberculosis. Tuberculin. Yeah. And the bottom one's the bovine. Right. So you basically measure the differences that happen when we come back. When I come back. Yeah. Um, and that's how you tell. So the avian is kind of like the comparative one. It's kind of okay. like a control. And this is the one that we we're worried about. Yeah. So if she's got a dirty grip, big lump on Monday, yeah. that's not good. Yeah. Cool. Being low risk, hopefully we're good. Yeah. You don't find many, do you? No. She's done then, yeah? She is done, yeah. Well done, bad. See? Not that bad, eh? Piece of okay. Yeah. 
You should have put a bigger like razor. <laughs> Do you need the sheep shears? She'd be nicely matted up, not where she's been. Lovely job. You want a tag number? Three. Got it? Yeah. She's good. <laughs> Come on. You can do it. There you go, love. Go on. Well done. Thank you. Uh, oh, she knows who I'm there. Uh oh. I'm sure you'd be more than happy to show me your teeth, eh? She hates yeah. it, it's hilarious. She's had quite a few things done, which is actually mm. Have you done it? Yeah, she's got a scruff. Have you? Yep. Good girl. Good girl. Here you go, done. <laughs> right, that's painless. So now the vet has come back on Monday and just measure the size of the lump. And if it's a certain size, then it's not good. The only one that was a pain in the backside was the one I didn't think would be. Sorry if the footage was a bit rubbish there, I was uh, trying to do it, I thought it'd be a lot easier than it was. TB desk part one done. Be a big relief on Monday when we find out the results. Like I said, we're in a TB free area. So hopefully it still stays that way. Right then, I'm gonna catch up with you guys on Monday. See you then. Is that a bit creepy? It was, wasn't it? See you Monday. Morning, day two of the TB test. Days when the vet comes back and reads the results to make sure that we are TB free. Fingers crossed because we've had a rough morning so far. We pulled a calf dead out of a cow this morning. It wasn't very enjoyable. We're just working on trying to find her a calf now to foster onto her. Currently the calf is all the way over there behind me and she's all the way over there. So I don't know if it's sort of going to work but really annoyingly the uh, TB test needs to happen right now so I've got to bring the cattle in which can disturb her I actually kind of hope she comes down to the barn and then once the test's done we're going to leave her shut in and probably skin the calf and put it on another calf if I can find a suitable calf <sighs> just wanted to have a nice day do you know what I mean anywho shall we go then go up as the vet's coming as well we're just getting a little poo sample Fun fact about vets, they love two things, cutting things off and poo. Just collecting poo, just to test, see if they've got any parasites holding them back. So we're not worming unnecessarily, really. Should we get her leg tied up again? Yep. I try and cut away some of this tissue. It's like a cauliflower, look. Yeah. So it's whether we can try and remove some of it to then get a, band, a proper band on it. Yeah. Thanks, girl. <laughs> Lovely, yep. Yeah. It's a splash up the legs for me. Small tumour removal. A couple of snacks for the dog mm. down there. She'll love them, especially after a day in the sunshine. So we've got a couple of cows here that are possibly in calf, so we're just gonna find out. She's in calf. Is she? Cool. Yeah. Where's the... See all these like little circular... These. Yeah, these. So yeah. they're attachments. They're cotyledons, that's how yeah. the yeah. fetus attaches. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna see if I can find it for you guys as well. That's calf right there on the left. Yeah. You see it moving? Moving, yeah. 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 Cool. Nothing. No, no reactions for TV, so that's clear. That's all good for you. If them horns get any bigger, we might have to get a bit technical with our crush. Bet you can't buy a Highland cow crush for 85 yeah, like quid. 60K. I know. This costs 85 quid, this crush. It's good, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. She's always one cow. Yeah, she's a calf as well. Yeah, yeah. That's calf though. See it yeah, moving? See it's moving. Mm. <clears throat> one of us is just have to stay home. One of us is right. See, Bambi's had a reaction. The bottom one has to be smaller than the top one. So I think we're clear, but can you imagine how stressful that
Loud smaller. So it's fine. Yeah. That was lucky, wasn't it? Good girl, Bams. Imagine how to put Bams down. All right. She is a bit stressy in here, isn't she? She is a real, real stress head, actually. She's close. Gonna let her out, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I wasn't, I wasn't bossing Zoe Vet around. Zoe, just put this on here quickly. Me? Yeah. Vet Zoe's a bit overqualified to do the camera position. Probably are. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah. Knock myself down a lot, but. Our uh, easiest, nicest cow won't get through the crush, so we halted her. And because Zoe's hardcore, she's gonna try and. Idea from there, but she might lunge forward in a second. But I'm just trying to stop ready? her going back. I'm ready. Let's go. No, nope. takes a lot of champ. Yeah, she's in calf as well. Lovely. Four months up. Yeah. You dirty I'm girl. Really calf. Oh wow. Go on, girl. Oh, near my birthday. Look, yeah, I'll close, isn't it? Good girl. Cracking job. Well, she's not a good girl, is she? That's why she's in the silly collar. I wasn't recording. I got it now. There you go. Ah, oh, look, she's so good at driving. Bye, Zoe. Thanks for being a good sport. Farm vets, they're good. They put up with a lot, and it's not always the easiest conditions, and there's a lot of different things they have to deal with. So, TV free, obviously. After the morning we had, I was a bit like, oh. Cows are good. Gonna just move them over the front field now. Um, we don't need to get them in. We have to get that Sussex in and check her. Basically, she had this, like, wart, and it was it got quite big, and then it just fell off. And I was like, oh, sweet, that's all right. And then it just came back, like, well, I don't know if it obviously it didn't fall off properly, but from what I could see, like, a lot of it had fallen off. And then it's grown back massively, and then we've just removed it again. And it, it's you can see it's on another nipple, like, it's gonna come back. So we have to play that by ear and see, see what happens. I mean, I'm not gonna say it was a good day, but... It is a good day. Right, I am not sure when I'm next gonna do a YouTube, so if you click the little bell, it'll give you a notification when my next video comes up because I am desperately planning to go on holiday. Fingers crossed, you won't see me for a week. Thank you very much for watching my YouTube. Couldn't do it without you.